Well, it's Saturday. The weekend's here. If you've got the weekend off, I authorise you to put your feet up and relax and hope that your weekend's plans haven't had a 180 degree spin like mine just took. Trust me, there are times even now where I wish I was nowhere near the IT industry. <sighs> G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Saturday. Weekend's here. It's just gone 10 past 7 in the morning here. And, uh, well, my plans sort of have all gone south. About three minutes ago. So we've got to rethink what's going to happen here today. But before we do anything, especially at this hour on a Saturday morning, and if you're up at this hour of a Saturday morning like I am, and you've had a rather um, enjoyable night out on the slops, you probably need one of these as well. All right. Um, now, today we were going to do Unix, Solaris and OpenBSD. I might get one of them done, but that's about it. The other half rings me to inform me that she's on her way home from Melbourne. As I said, she went out to a club rave reunion night up in Melbourne last night. It's fine. She's an ex-raver. Um, and so, yeah, that's whatever. She's rang me to say she's on the train back from Melbourne, back down to Geelong. That's cool. About, I don't know, a minute or two later, a family member who lives not too far from me informs me, actually, I should, no, scratch that, doesn't inform me, orders me to go to their place of residence and has informed me that they've now got their hands on a brand new hard drive and some more RAM for their laptop and their PC and they want a complete fresh redo of the entire thing, a complete refurb of both the laptop as far as hard drive and RAM and the PC as far as hard drive, RAM and graphics. Now, without going into too fine a point, they occasionally play the poor card and then rub it in my face when they end up getting stuff that I would like to have. Now, I'm not going to go into that anyway. So, today's plans have sort of been thrown 180 degrees out of whack. And, um, you know, shoved down the gurgler shall we say. So what we're going to try and do, I'm going to try and do at least do the Solaris 11.3 hardware. Now, for those that are curious, does OBS work on Solaris 11? Well, everything says it should, but I may have to put a Linux container into, uh, sorry, um, Linux to Unix container into Solaris 11 to get OBS to run. Because I know what will happen. Each and every one of you is going to have an absolute spaz attack unless I put OBS on it. So I'll figure something out. I think OBS goes on to Solaris because if it can go on to MacOS, which is Darwin Unix, Solaris is very much closer to Mac than BSD is. I think that's right. We'll try something out. I'm a, obviously, I'm not going to be able to use OBS to show... Oh, I can probably use OBS to show you how I'm going to build it. But uh, we'll get into that today. So that's one project. The second project today was going to be OpenBSD 6.2 on that big Asus server that I've got. I may run out of time to do that today, um, just because I've got to go and do this rebuild. And like I said, there really are times, and I, I can't, I, I'd never walk away from the industry, I've said that in the past, but there are times I wish I, I was nowhere near computers and had just stuck with the pro audio industry. 
and I never, ever, ever got into the IT industry. As much as I love the industry, even with some of the politics that goes on around the entire IT field, or whatever it's called now, ICT field, Information Communication Technology, I think they call it these days, um, there are times when I'm just like, oh, I've had enough. <laughs> and I, if you're an IT tech that hasn't ever gone and ended up you know, just wanting to walk away because you've had enough of some of the politics that goes on in the industry. You're super, superhuman, believe me. I know techs that are my age and older and a couple of younger ones that have had exactly the same thoughts. You know, it gets to the point sometimes where you think, I'm absolutely fed up with this stuff. But you never walk away. You just think about walking away. Although, actually, no, that's not quite right. I do know of um, I do know of one tech that actually snapped, and he basically said, "That is it. I'm out of the industry." He hasn't used, he has not fixed a computer for six years. He won't answer any questions on computers. He decided to be a. Um, Printer went into the printing industry. Talk about a, a shift in <laughs> a direction in in, in uh, your working life, but he he basically snapped and said, "That's it. I've had enough of the IT industry. I'm out." And he's never told me. I know the guy pretty well, and he's never actually told me why. So. Them, them's the brakes. Anyway, I will try and get the Solaris video out now. We'll get it set up. Um, we might start the organisation of the rest of the Unix system possibly tomorrow. Because the problem I've got with this uh, family members rebuild is... They wanted it fixed yesterday, if you get my drift. So, I mean, it's a complete redo of everything. Reinstall Windows, reinstall Office, uh, reinstall their um, software package thing that is a, um, it's proprietary software. Um, and before everyone asks and says, but Backyard, you love your Linux, why don't you give them Linux? Huh. I'm not having that argument. Believe me, I, I am not having that argument with this family member. I've been there once before. It's like telling a brick wall to fall over. They just won't touch it with a 30-foot barge pole. So as much as I'd like to give them Linux, and I've said this before, you can try and convince people to go to Linux, but if they're not willing to take that leap, you can't push them. So I'm just going to have to... I've got Windows 10 here. Um, so that's easy. Um, because I've got Windows 10 ESD. I think I've still got umpteen licenses left with it. Um, and this proprietary software that interlinks with... I think it's this sewing machine. No, I don't know. I, I give up with that sort of stuff. I've just got to fix their computer and laptop. That's all I've got to do. So we'll uh, we'll do the Solara stuff, and hopefully it's not all too bad. Um, we're going to put it on that big red box, the uh, Skylake CPU. Now, before you tear my head off, also, why am I not putting it on a KB Lake? I don't have a KB Lake processor. Simple. Anyway, stick around, bit coming up. And don't forget, 7 p.m. tonight, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, GMT, UTC, plus 11. Stand live stream conversations. Catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.